Hello everybody, Multiman37 back here with another review, this time of the Deluxe Kutama Set 01. And boy, I really hate being behind on Sentai and Power Ranger reviews. So I'm going to try and do more Power Ranger and Super Sentai reviews more often. I did Ju uh, Juoger on purpose because at first I didn't really like it. But then Juoger sort of grew on me. And I do more Kamen Rider reviews than I do anything else. So I got to stop doing that. Um, so I'll get back into the swing of doing other reviews, um, while I try to balance out everything else, because my common Writer playlist outruns every other playlist that I have. So we'll take a look at the box and then the Kutamas, and then I'm also including the Pegasus Kutama from the Kutama campaign. Uh, this was, I don't think this was in a specific toy, I think this just came, uh, when you basically bought something Q-Ranger related, and then they just threw this in. So, here we got the front of the box. We got a picture of Shishi Red right there. On this side, we get uh, the Kani emblem. And on this side, we get the Tate emblem. Uh, on the bottom, basically a uh, bunch of gibberish that I can't read. And on the back is, of course, everything you're going to do. And I forgot to get Q-Reno. Um, but I'll, uh, I'll get Q Reno when I'm done here. Um, so we'll take a look, first we'll take a look at the two Kutama that came with the set, uh, starting with the, uh, Kani Kutama. This is based on Cancer the Crab. Kind of done in a very light, a uh, very whitish pink color. Um, so it's not as pink as the, uh, Washi Kutama has number 21 right there. Um, very nice. And of course, you do get the two fractured halves, which look like a planet, but when you put them together, they form a crab. So that's nice. There's that. Next, we have the Tate Kutama. Um, I forget the name of this constellation, but it's supposed to be a shield. Uh, this is Kutama number 24. You get the fractured halves there and there. Put them together. This is done out in kind of this greenish-blue plastic. It does look nice. Um, I'll slide it. You get the full-on shield with the little star in the center. Um, and then we also get uh, the Pegasus Kutama um, number 33 which is done out in a pearl white plastic, which looks very nice. I really like uh, the plastic choice for this. Um, this one does isn't very easy to mollus slide, by the way. Um, it gets it 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 gets stuck easily, and I can't flick it, so I had to do it manually. Uh, when you put it all together, you do get well fractured halves here, and then put it together, and it forms a Pegasus. And this is based on the constellation of the same name. So, uh, let's bring in the Seiza Blaster and show off. Since these are all skill Kutama, I'll only show off Seiza Attack and Seiza Go. So, bring in the Seiza Blaster. So, we'll start with the Kani Kutama. I don't know why it displays a red light. This isn't a red light. Uh, the Kani Kutama basically creates a giant pair of uh, of crab claws that basically can cut through anything. And then, uh, say the go. So there's that. Next is Tate. Tate Kutama. Sage attack. And this basically creates a shield that can block any attack. And then the Voyager. Sage, go. Tate Voyager. 
I'd assume it'd pretty much look like uh, the Ted Bean and Hit Beat Sky Voyager. And then the Pegasus Kutama, which is actually a very special Kutama. With this Kutama, it gives a Q, uh, one of the Q-Rangers uh, an armored plate of a Pegasus that is actually sentient, and they nickname him Pegasan. Uh, and, uh, for example, this would turn uh, Shishi Red into Pegasus Shishi Red. And the Voyager Summoning... And, yeah, now to show off these Kutama in Kureno. As soon as I line them up. I'm back, and uh, I brought Kureno back into the picture here. Oh, yeah, before I get into this, I kind of sort of forgot to show off the, uh, the little thing here. This kind of a... Uh, Sort of a guessing game where it'll randomly land on a random Kutama. To what I'm not sure what the point of this is, but it's there. Anyway, um, first we'll put in the Kani Kutama and uh. Switch it to Kureno mode. Kureno. And this shows the image of a lobster, or not a lobster, a crab claw. Next is Tate. Tate shows the image of a reflecting shield. And Pegasus, which was actually... Sorry about that. Super Galaxy! Which, uh, Pegasus shows the image of a dashing Pegasus. So that's nice. And I'm gonna put the Shishi Kutama back in. Overall, this set is very nice, and um, there's going to be a lot of cute Thomas for me to get, especially since I'm really, really behind on this. Uh, I don't know why. I like Super Sentai a lot, it's just Kamen Rider seem to overtake it, and not that I just prefer Kamen... I, I like them all equally, it's just, uh, I don't know what it was. I was kind of obsessing over getting one thing over another, but you know what? I'm going to balance it out a lot better. So that I give you guys more variety and myself because I definitely need it. But overall, this is a nice little Kutama set. Uh, the Pegasus Kutama is pretty uh, decently priced nowadays, even on the aftermarket, unlike some Kutamas, which goes for $400. Seriously, don't price the Q a Kutama at $400. I do not care how rare it is. Don't do that. Jeez, you guys are so greedy sometimes. But either way, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.